Okay, now, I don't know if you've heard about this yet, but there are groups of people and individuals in this world that like to dress up, well, as animals. You know, like the cheerleaders at sporting events, you know, are jumping around. They call themselves furries, and they dress up like animals because, well, they like it and think it's fun. Now, most furries don't think they are the actual animals they dress up as, but some, like this man, says he identifies as a deer and actually thinks of himself as a real deer. So, here's the question for today. Is it possible this deer man went out into the forest dressed as a deer and according to this news report, accidentally got himself shot by hunters and ended up in the hospital. So, is this story for real? Or are we looking at a big, fat, forest-sized fake? I've got the answer to that anthropomorphic mystery, plus answers on a couple other strange questions you guys sent in, so don't go anywhere. Hey guys, Bill here. The story of the furry deer man was sent in by Giannis Dandul, who just wrote, Hey Bill, is this for real? Where is humanity headed? LOL. Giannis, I don't think anyone really knows where humanity is headed, but wherever it is, I'm sure it will be interesting. But as to the deer man, what do you say we check it out and see what we can find out? Taking a closer look at the picture Gianna sent in, we see it looks like it comes from a newspaper or an online news site, something like that. It shows two pictures of deer man and reads, trans species man who self-identifies as a deer accidentally shot by hunters. Below the picture, the sub-headline reads, South Carolina man who self-identifies as deer has been transported to the hospital by helicopter after being shot by two hunters. To see if I could confirm this story, I took the image and did a reverse image lookup to see what I could find. That in turn led me to an article on a hunting news site. And according to this article, a doctor from the hospital uh, identified the man as William Tannenbaum. He's 31 years old and was in the woods when the accident happened. He was taken to Allendale County Hospital. Well, that's very specific. Uh, and they also quoted Tannenbaum's mother, who said he had been dressing up as a deer for many years, and she even provided a video to go with the story. Okay, guys, I guess it's your turn to let the whole world know what you think. If you think this story is the real deal, then go with real. If you think someone made it up, then go with fake. And as usual, if you don't think I have a smoking gun answer, well, you know what to do then, right? You go with unknown. Just go ahead and shout out your answer. And if you can't do that, you can always pause the video and leave your answer down in the comment section, nice and quiet. You ready? And go. Hey, while we're waiting for everyone to make up their minds, let's take a look at a couple other items you guys sent in, like this picture from Tristan Krings Woodside, who wants to know if this picture really shows a designer from Jim Henson's Creature Shop working on a Freddy Fazbear animatronic for the upcoming Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Tristan, as it turns out, this picture is real. It was posted to the real Twitter account of Jason Bloom, who is the producer of the upcoming FNAF movie. Looks like we're finally getting things underway on that thing, and it can't come soon enough, as far as I'm concerned. Sharky sent in this picture that claims to show an 11-year-old boy who brought down this monster-sized hog. Sharky, believe it or not, this picture is... Real. 
The boy is Jameson Stones, and he's confirmed to have taken down this 1,051-pound wild boar in Alabama. Here's another picture of him with his hogzilla. And finally, we have this picture sent in by Rusty, who wants to know if that is a real whale or maybe somebody just trying to prank us with Photoshop. Well, Rusty, did you know blue whales are the largest animal known to have ever existed? They can grow up to 28 meters or 92 feet, and I think that's bigger than a megalodon, and weigh up to get this, 200 tons. Wow. The picture is real and posted by Maximo on Twitter. Okay, now that we got all that settled, let's get back to our furry deer man and see if this story of him being accidentally shot by hunters is the real deal or not. I've got the red envelope right here and I am opening it to see what it says inside. And, uh, well, you know, I can't say I hope it's true, but if it is, I will accept that because I could see something like that happening, you know? I mean, Dick Cheney, our former vice president of the United States, I mean, he accidentally shot somebody in the forest. So uh, I guess anybody could do it, especially if they're looking at somebody dressed up as a deer. So anyway, here we go. Here's the official answer. Are you ready? According to what it says right here, the official answer is, believe it or not, 100% fake. That's right. The reason why there is so much detail in this story is because it was made up and published by a silly, satirical joke website called World News Daily. Now, World News Daily, you know, they only publish fake stories, but they make it pretty clear that they are fake. You know, it's kind of like The Onion. The Onion also does that kind of thing. Now, their story was first published years ago, but ever since then, other sites have been publishing their own version of the story. And well, these sites don't quite have the scruples to tell people that, hey, it's a fake story. They'd rather print it as real and then have a few yucks when they see people actually believing it. So I think uh, at the end of the day, what this all proves is that old saying, you can't believe everything you read to be true. Uh, well, that's just as accurate today as it ever was, if not more. Hey, if you're thinking about clicking away, I wouldn't do that. I still have to show you my favorite fake of the week, which is coming right up. And hey, don't forget, we have a new show every Friday, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notifications bell so you get a shot at being first official comment and win the pin. And now, for my favorite fake of the week, it's a video called Giantess caught on camera uh, and claims to show a, the foot of a a female giant crossing this security footage. It was sent in by Brandon Baum. Check this out. That looks real. Sure. You know what it looks like to me? So, so hey, hey, it's, it's funny! funny! Hey, don't go away just yet. There are a whole lot more real or fakes you can look at. Just go ahead and click on one.